I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This week, let's start the dolls off with a hot cup of coffee. So we've put together some of our favorite crafts so your dolls can have their favorite roast. From the coffee shop to a frappuccino, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a to-go coffee cup and a coffee dispenser for a doll using cardstock, computer paper, craft foam, toothpicks, glue, pony beads and teardrop beads, and a brown paper bag. I start by making a paper tube, but this time I roll it tighter at one end so that it makes a cone. I use glue to hold it in place and allow it to dry. I measure the tube to my doll until I find the right size for my cup. I cut the desired portion of the tube, cut two circles of craft foam, one smaller than the other, glue the large one onto the cup, followed by the smaller one, cut a small curved strip out of a paper bag, glue it around the center. When using a lighter color foam, I just draw in the spout with the marker. To make the coffee dispenser, I start with a strip of cardstock. I curl it into a cylinder and glue it into place. An old lipstick tube could make a good substitute for the cylinder. I cut strips of metallic scrapbook paper and glue them around my cylinder. I decided to glue one to the top and a thinner one to the bottom. Cut circles out of craft foam, glue it to the top, glue a pony bead to the top, glue a teardrop bead to a pony bead, glue it to the cylinder, and you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a coffee shop for a doll using a cardboard box, scrap of paper, color pencils, a paper napkin, small jars of glitter, cotton balls, recycled paperboard, flat toothpicks, printables from our blog, thread, and glue. I start by removing the tabs from a cardboard box. Glue down the tabs on the bottom of the box. On the side of the box, I measure, mark, and cut out a large square from the front. Repeat on the other side, and we cut a small doorway on another wall. Begin covering the outside of the box with scrapbook paper, then the inside, followed by the floor. Cut thin strips of paper, glue them on for the baseboards. Cut a long rectangle of leftover cardboard to the waist of a doll. Begin bending the cardboard to make a curve. Place it on a spare piece of cardboard, sketch around it, cut on the lines drawn, cover with scrapbook paper, and covering this curve can be tricky. So first we covered both sides with scrapbook paper, we cut a thin strip of a metallic paper, glue them along the edge to give it a nice finish. Glue the two pieces together, add trim around the bottom to make the counter. Cut, bend, Cover with paper to match the counter. Attach it to the counter to make a small shelf. Glue the counter inside the store. Cut a piece of black cardstock or construction paper. Use color pencils to draw a menu. Glue it to the wall. I remade the coffee dispenser from a previous video, only this time we use buttons on top instead of craft foam. We made the walls thicker by adding another roll of paper, and I placed the spout higher then placed it on the counter. We cut out the printable cups, curl the paper around and glue it, and I like to use the end of a paintbrush to help form the cup, and consistently make them the same size. Place it on a scrap of paper, add a drop of glue to the inside. Once the glue dries, trim off the excess paper to make stackable cups. 
Cover thin strips of cardboard with scrap of paper. Glue them into the corner for shelves. Cut out a printable, fold on the lines so that the sides come together. Then fold over and crease the top. Cut on the bottom creases up to the line, all the way down. Fold it around and glue the sides together. Now these little bottom tabs here that we just cut, I am gonna trim them at an angle on the front and back. Fold in the sides, glue them down, then the front and back, fill it with a cotton ball, pinch and glue the top closed to make bags of coffee. Cut out our tea printable so that I have four pieces. Cut a small piece of thread, glue the ends of the thread between the paper, place it in a small container like an old glitter jar with a bead glued on top for tea. Use paperboard to make the cake stand from our frozen fever cake video to hold cinnamon rolls and donuts from other previous videos. Cut a paper napkin into small squares, fold them to make doll sized napkins. Place cut toothpicks in a cup for stirs. Make more chalkboard art. To decorate the walls, use a small jar of glitter for sugar. Trace and cut circles out of paperboard. Stack and glue them together. Glue a paper tube between them to make the tables from our sweet shop video. Add one of our paper chairs to make outside seating. Stack and glue cardboard. Cover with paper and printables to make a cash register. Use stickers or printables to add a name and a logo. I can even glue the logo to stacked pieces of painted paperboard and glue it to the corner to make our very own corner coffee shop. And you're done. Happy crafting! You make me oh, hey, lights go out When I see you moving oh, hey, light me up I love when you go like that to make a coffee for a doll using our coffee cup printables, paper, nail polish, a toothpick or a pen, and glue. First, let's make a cup. Using the printables from our doll coffee shop video, we cut them out, curl them, and I'm just using the end of a paintbrush. Overlap the ends, use glue to secure them in place. Carefully fill the bottom with glue, then set it onto a piece of paper to dry. Carefully peel it off of the paper to make the cup. Or we can make our paper roll cups from our doll teacup video, where we make a thin roll of paper, push a bead into it, add a paper handle, then carefully brush the outside with a layer of glue to make the teacup. Now, let's make the coffee. Very carefully fill the inside with hot glue and remember to always have adult supervision when dealing with hot objects, leaving a little space at the top. Once dried, brush the inside walls with glue, creating a protective coat on the inside. Using nail polish in shades of brown and white, fill the top of the cup, just enough so it covers the hot glue. Add a drop of white, another drop of brown, then continue adding drops, Creating several circles, then taking a pen or a toothpick, very carefully draw a line going straight down the center. Allow it to dry overnight. And you're done. Happy crafting!
are crazy about unicorns. One day, the My Mini Mixie Q Series 1 Rainbow Unicorn will be mine! Mwah -ah -ah -ah. And that's why when we heard about the Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino, we just had to make one for our dolls. So here is a quick craft. I am going to make a unicorn frappuccino for our dolls using printables from our blog, paint, green coated paper clips, clear tape, toilet paper, glitter, and glue. I start by printing out our cups from our Star Frogs coffee shop. And on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, we have three printables available. Two for the shop and all of its accessories, and one where you can just print off the cups. Today, we only need the cup printable. On my paint palette, I add fuchsia and blue acrylic paint. Begin painting onto the printable, and you don't have to go all the way to the edge. I'm going about two thirds of the way. Add a wavy line of blue going across the middle. Then I just fill it in. Allow it to dry. Carefully cut it out. On the unpainted side, I take a paintbrush and begin to curl it around to form the shape of a cup. Use a glue stick to secure it. Take a small piece of tape, wrap it around the cup, trim off the excess to make it look like a plastic cup. I take two connected squares of toilet paper, fold them in half, fold it again to make a triangle. On the long side, fold over the corners to meet at the bottom, grab the top, and begin to twist to make a spiral shape. Trim off just enough so it can fit inside the cup. Trim off the excess, put a little glue on a piece of paper, place the cup on top, lightly apply glue to the top. Before it dries, unfold and score a paper clip. Remove the plastic coating and place it between the folds in the toilet paper. Sprinkle with glitter, allow it to dry, carefully trim off the bottom to make doll-sized unicorn frappuccinos allowing our dolls to have this rare treat forever. Then paint it a different color to make the mermaid frappuccino. Or what about the dragon frappuccino? Wait, hold up. So are you saying there is a mermaid and a dragon frappuccino? Well, kind of and not really. The mermaid and the dragon frappuccino is definitely trending now that the unicorn is no longer available. But I was told these are not official frappuccinos. However, some stores will make them by special request if you know the recipe. I am calling my local store right now. Wait, what's the recipe? I don't know, I'm a crafter, not a cook. Oh man. For the mermaid frappuccino, we painted it green and added a purpley pink kind of drizzle along the side and a pink drizzle on top. And for the dragon, we used green and blue. To make the drizzle on top, I used Mod Podge and markers by first coloring on a plastic surface with a marker, then mixing it with a little Mod Podge to make a glaze. Allow it to dry. And you're done. Happy crafting! It's like a dream. It's like a dream when we both get together and free. joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye